Greetings, this is Cross Knights, and this is Clash of the Titans. Day 6, survivalist style. And day 6 was a very interesting day for Clash of the Titans and for the survivalists. Let's start with Clash of the Titans. Look at the screen right now. If you're observant, you might notice that there's something amiss. And no, I'm not talking about the dead people. I'll get to that. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things is not quite the same. Yes, it looks like one of the inglorious Bastion went and uh, dropped his shield. Phantasmagoria! I believe I'm saying that right. Temporarily turned back into a resident, but as I look now, they have turned back into a guardian. I heard it reported that they said that they had like 320 hero days left and you know apparently they missed their mark by approximately 314 but anyway enough of that we'll see if anything develops with that tomorrow uh hopefully hopefully not there have been two more deaths one of the inglorious bastion has fallen we have here obag obag is falling i'm assuming this was a camping accident um, the law of averages just, just caught up. There, like, so many people were camping, someone was going to die. There was going to be bodies, and I'm just surprised that it took this long for it to happen, but it happened. Clearly not happy at all <laughs> that this happened, based on the last word. So that, that really sucks. But, uh, the Guardians are now down to 39. Interesting fact about the Guardians, each time they lose someone, they lose five defense, so they actually have an additional penalty for someone dying than everyone else. And I... Uh, it, it really sucks, because, I don't know, I, I think these guys have a great chance, but the technicians have now lost another person. Mogman has died. And again, I'm just assuming that this is camping until I until I hear otherwise. Uh, it was killed in the world beyond, so that's a that's a reasonable... Assumption, I would say. He doesn't seem nearly as upset as Obeg. <laughs> so, uh, he's taking it all in stride, I guess. Alright, but let's prop up quick maps of everyone to see how all the other towns are doing. But I'm not really going to go over to it. I think I'm only going to do, like, an in-depth, um, town overview every other episode. And for right now, I'm just going to show you the maps and move on to, uh, to the survivalists. Because, as I said, this is a very glorious day for us. This is the day that we sent the last two people off to the ruins to try to search for different blueprints. I don't know if they found it or not, but the point is we used all of our stocked blueprints. And as you can see, we had a lot of freaking blueprints. Now, a lot of them were garbage. Some of them literally. Garbage dumps and whatnot. We had some really good ones. Um, Fawcett would have been good for any other group besides us, so... But we found it. Hooray. All or nothing. That could be very good for Endgame. We found the damn nuclear reactor. I really hope we get a chance to build it just because um, I, I've never seen it before. I mean, the coolest thing about the nuclear reactor is that if you don't repair it enough, it explodes and kills everything on the map. And you get a rare distinction, but we can't get any rare distinctions here, so whatever. Yesterday, I was actually given a blueprint to open for someone because they weren't going to be around, around maintenance. And because of that, I don't know whether it was me or him that found the lighthouse. But uh, it's possible that that one time that I camped on, like, day two, it was the lighthouse that I found, which is pretty cool. Even though I know the code doesn't actually work like that, I'm pretty sure the game hasn't decided what your blueprint is until the second that you open it. But I like to think like that anyway, because it makes me feel special. Yeah, there's a few other defensive BPs that we got. I mean, all in all, pretty cool. We did get a lot of crappy ones, though. So. I'm impressed by the amount of blueprints that we had. I had no idea that we even had that many. If you stayed all the way to the end of my last video, you know that we found two tables. We went from zero tables to two tables. So you can see that we have constructed the thingamabob and the whatchamacallit. So we'll now be receiving a common blueprint every day like the rest of you folks. And it only takes one AP for us to convert things. In fact, the random number generator actually loves us so much that it's blessed us with a fourth hacksaw. I actually tried to negotiate with one of the scavengers to try to trade one of our hacksaws for Funny Duber's bones. However, they went all Ed Gein and made tents and scarves out of his remains. Typical. And of course, on that note, Funny Duber has actually signed into our meta chat. He is not dead. He was not waylaid by Ewoks or Velociraptors. That happens way more frequently than you would ever think. So as much as I've been praising the Tamer's ability to discover their entire map, and still, it is very impressive, 
I think we've beaten every single town as far as map exploration. The reason for that is likely that we don't have to ration, and because of that we never get thirsty, and because of that we're able to go out farther every single day. Not to mention that we have a decent stock of drugs and booze. Like any good town should. While there was a plan to do some major clearing in the north, it kind of stopped once another building was found. There is also a clearing plan that did go off in the southwest, and again, another building was found. We gotta think we found most of the buildings. The uh, only buildings that are left are probably up in the northwest, and will we get to them? Uh, I'm assuming so. <laughs> I probably won't be a part of the scavenger trip personally, because um, it's creepy going out that far. I don't think I've ever been out farther than like 16 AP out. I should probably remedy that at some point. And for a more in-depth report of what happened in the Southwest, you can read this. Be warned, it was kind of posted by a functioning alcoholic. But really, don't judge. As one of my meta recently said, Thytonite has taught me that winners do use drugs. Losers just use too many drugs. Well, it's day six. Defense might actually be an issue for some people. Not a major issue, but people are going to have to start addressing it. We were able to top ourselves off with the slip and slide today. And we're actually voting pump. You wouldn't think we would vote pump, but it was either that or pit. And considering that we have the automatic sprinkler, which is an amazing blueprint, that for a mere 20 water and some highly purified wood and metal, we can get 135 defense. So we're definitely going to be hitting that up eventually, possibly tomorrow. We're also making a major push to build up personal defenses. Though some delinquents like myself have not started yet, but I really will try to get on that tomorrow. I has a plan that I can still go out 10 AP and um, still have 2 AP to upgrade my tent, but I probably should have done that today. Regardless, not a huge deal. As always, from now on, the links to the other video makers' channels are in the description, and I'm really looking forward to seeing another video from the Tamer Town and the Guard Town. They've been a little bit quiet as far as the video making front, but it's the weekend. I understand that not everyone can pound, like, a few hours every day to making a video like I can't because I'm crazy obsessed with things. But I would really like to get a response for uh, the craziness that happened today in the guard down, because I'm definitely wondering what was going on there. Viva la survivors! I'll see you all next time.